hey what's up guys it's mikhail back here with another video and today i'm going to be checking out the chained werehog inside of sonic speed simulator uh, i know i'm putting this video out really really late and i'm uh really sorry i wasn't free last week to make the update video about it but uh today's video will be focused on this skin if you still haven't gotten it how to get it easily and reviewing it and comparing it to the normal werehog to see if it's worth it to pick up as it's the second werehog variant I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please remember to leave a like and subscribe as it's free, easy, helps out a ton, and you can always change my later. With that, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so here in Pumpkin Hill, as you can see, the Howl at the Moon Chained Werehog event is right here. And there are four main quests to complete for it. We have the Destroy Dark Bats, the Destroy Candy Orbs, the Moon Medals from Races, and the Sun Medals from Pumpkin Hill Time Trials. Uh, these are four quests. I believe the hardest one and the most uh, time-taking one is going to be this Moon Medals from Races ones because it takes a really long time because races are really nitpicky with how uh, you get the Moon Medals. Uh, that's why I would say uh, do that one maybe third or last, depending on your preference. If you'd like to go for it first, you can, but it might, you know, tire you out. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you guys how you can do the first two, the Dark Bats and the Candy Orb quests, both at once. So, uh, the first thing is you need to be able to have a tornado. If not, it's not the end of the world, but it'll be a ton easier if you have one. Uh, there are many tornadoes in the game right now. If you don't have one, you can um, travel to, uh, sorry, here, uh, Tornado Assault and complete the event. Or in the Fast Pass, uh, if you have purchased the Premium Pass, there's a Halloween tornado right here for you. But, of course, that's uh, through payment. Uh, so... Unless there's like another way that you know, which I'm not going to name because there may be a few ways to get tornadoes right now. You can do that. Uh, but essentially what you're going to do is come around with your tornado and spam the shoot button with space bar or tap and uh, tap and stay uh, low on the ground. Because that's where you're going to find these candy clusters as well as the uh, dark bats. And so all you need to do is equip some magnet chow if you have any and uh, just stay here. And this will let you collect a uh, candy uh, thing, like, they'll let you collect candy spheres, uh, the dark bats, and you'll be able to collect XP and uh, regular candy for uh, your fast pass if you want to do that. But if you don't want to, you can't stick to the air. It's just more beneficial and saves more time if you stay on the ground. And that's pretty much it. After around 15 minutes, that will get you the first or the bottom two quests done. But I can't really say the same about the top two quests there uh the metal quests they're quite a bit more difficult uh all right so uh let me just move spots and i'll show you what you guys can do for that one all right uh so we're back at spawn and as you can see th for the moon medals which is the top right quest we have to collect 500 of them now every race if you get first place you get five moon medals however uh, for every additional player you have, you'll earn more moon medals up until four players. So you could be getting 45 moon medals a race if you have uh, four uh, players in your race. And that's crazy, whether you want to bring your friends in or you just happen to get into a races with random people that also want to uh, do this. It's extremely worth it to try and go and get some friends uh, to get to um, bring onto this quest so that if they want to unlock the skin or if they could just help you... Uh, I would suggest to always do drag races unless, like, if you're just alone or with your friends, do drag races. But if you see someone doing action races, uh, f of course, go and do those. That's it for the top right quest. Alright, so now that you've gotten that out of the way, that might have taken, like, a lot more time for you. Um, your final quest, which is to collect sun medals from the Pumpkin Hill time trials, let's head right over there. Alright, and we are here in Pumpkin Hill. So for the time trials, these are the three time trials right here. Time trial 1, 2, and 3. And I'm an average level player. And as an average person, I think uh, you should be able to complete uh, these time trials in a similar amount of time. Maybe a bit more. It's fine. But um, these are the time records I hold for these time trials. And so uh, they uh, all give you the exact same amount of moon uh, or sun medals. They don't show right here, but it's because I've already completed it. They all give 50 for first place. I believe um, like 10 for third place and like 25 or maybe 30 for second place or silver. Uh, and then I would s recommend that you do the either the 
time trial two or three. If you have a flying skin or a super rarity skin, uh, time trial three is going to be best for you. But uh, if not, you can do time trial two. They both take a very similar amount of time. Uh, let me show you both of them right now. Let's start off with time trial two. Alright guys, so uh, that was both of the time trials, and after completing all of those, you should be done with the Howl of the Moon quest, and you should have this epic uh, chained up werehog, which is actually, in my opinion, a really good alternative to the regular werehog, which we'll be comparing them uh, in just a few minutes. But uh, for now, let's look at the animations of this werehog, which are both the same. So, uh, of course, we have this idle animation. They actually refresh these animations, but uh, this is idle animation. Um, it's pretty nice when he's running his gallop has made uh, been made much smoother uh, as you can see it's m still a little bit choppy if you're like really fast but um, it looks good for the most part for most people this will uh, work very well it's a really loved skin and I'm glad they brought it back for free unlike the version of the fast pass um, anyways now let's look at the normal werehog and compare them Alright, so this is the normal Warhog, and like I said, same idle animations, um, but of course he does not have any chains on him. And so in comparative, um, comparing them, I would definitely say that this design is a lot cleaner. I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the chains on the chained up Warhog, although it's a great skin uh, all in all. However, for its price tag, considering it's in the fast pass, and it's the tier 30 reward, which means you have to do a ton of grinding. Like, it's not even just, like, spend 800 and get him. It's spend uh, 800 and complete the fast pass, which is a big stretch, considering after, like, almost two weeks, I believe, of trying to complete the fast pass, I'm at level 4. Maybe, maybe that's because I don't play much, but I don't think it's very worth it, considering how much candy you have to get and the fact that there isn't much candy but uh yeah that's my review of the skins i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please remember to leave a like and subscribe as it's free easy helps out a ton and you can always change your mind later see you in the next video bye guys